Hello Toe Beans and welcome to Sparkle Paw Prints with Miss Sparkle. Today we're going to do a little whip and chat for you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and use a wax pencil. I have my pen to the side. have my tweezers. have my sharpener. <laughs> I'm using a custom tray from Sparkling Cute her Etsy page and that's the trash this is my diamond tray we're gonna work on this one which I did kind of start yesterday but my back started hurting and hips st and started hurting so I put a pause to it <clears throat> okay so well where to start so I filmed my first uh, whip and crime for you all oh gosh sorry didn't pick up a diamond in um, I didn't realise how hard it would be to diamond paint and read at the same time. So, I am just gonna pre, like, do the audio and then I'm just gonna record the video, take off the sound and then put the audio onto the video, if that makes sense. Um, see how that goes. Um, yeah, so we are entering week eight of DP Anime On. I know my kit is not a DP Anime On kit. It is Yoshi the Shiba. I did start this one and I do want to get it done. Plus also I'm trying to pick out my next kit to work on for the event. <clears throat> if you did not already know and want to take part, you do have until the 19th of July to get your first entry in. You have to complete one canvas to be eligible for a grand prize, which will be which will be announced probably. It ends on the thirty first of July, and I'll probably announce the winner, or I'll try and get a video with the like a number wheel or something. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm gonna figure that out, and um, that'll be probably done on like the first of August, and then. I will arrange with you how we're going to do your grand prize. Um, thank you everyone that's already taken part in the event. I love seeing all your pictures and progress. Um, if you want to take part in the event, um, all you have to do is... Um, uh, the picture can be any size, um, any shape, from anywhere like anywhere that you've got one from and it can be anime so anything anime related anime would be like for example death note because i did have a death note one but it got ruined and ugh. um what else was there uh pokemon actually counts as an anime it is based off of a manga also games because a lot of games these days are animated, which leads me into animation. I did just complete a Scooby-Doo for this week. I loved doing that one, but he obviously is an animation. And I completed a Joker, which would come under animation and game because I don't know if anyone knows but they have got Batman games where the Joker does appear and obviously they have like animated series where he also appears it'll be the same for Harley I do have a matching Harley one to go with that Joker I haven't unboxed her yet and I haven't started her so but she probably will get done for the event before it ends I'm just deciding what one I want to do next I might do Harley next as a little quick side project <laughs> or I might just do a different one so if you hear any noise in the background it will be Ruby running around maybe eating her bone playing with her toys I can hear her squeaking away so yeah um, but you have until the 19th of July to get that in as your first entry I'm sorry, I can hear his Ruby running around. I hope that's not too much of a distraction. <laughs> um, 
she is very playful. She's, near, she's quite the big girl now. She's probably, good, well, she will be six months in a couple of days. Um, so that's exciting. Guys, if you are taking part in the event and ha are working on a picture currently, please don't forget to use the hashtag to show your progress on Instagram or post in the Facebook post, which I do put on weekly. Um, so your pictures can be featured on the channel. Um, it's just because obviously I noticed that nobody has posted. I don't know if that's because no one's working on any projects for DP Anime on or if you guys are just forgetting. That's fine either way. Just wanted to remind you subtly. Um, yeah, so I have enjoyed hosting the event. I found it fun. And... Um, I can't wait to host again next year. Yes, guys, we will be hosting again next year. So if you didn't get a chance to take part this year and you wanted to do a bigger canvas, you can enter in next year's event. Because <laughs> we will be hosting again then. Um, I'm trying to think what else to say. As it's a whipping chat. And I've already done the event talk. I don't want to bore you all with it too much. So it's quite sunny here. We'll talk about the daily life, I guess. It is quite sunny here at the moment, which we are taking the most of. Getting washing out. We were going to take Ruby to the beach, but we went down there to check it out to see how busy it was and it was very very busy so we didn't take her in the end because I didn't want her getting panicky over that amount of people so we didn't take her in the end but we brought her a nice lovely big bone which she is munching on right now if you can't hear her <laughs> but um she is enjoying the bone at the fullest. Um, what else is there? We have... I don't know what else we've done since I last spoke to you guys. We are waiting for our new sofa. Still. If you didn't already know that. <laughs> Um, it's due to come soon, I hope. It'd be nice to have a nice new sofa. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sparkle will start be working, starting to work from home next week, next week. So, my videos may be slightly different -ed, different -ed, different than they have been because I need to work out something that works for both me and Mr. Sparkle as he will be working in the same room where I normally do my videos. I may have to take the smaller table, the little table that sits on the coffee table, take it into the bedroom to try and get recordings done there. I won't be so bad for post reviews, I can just do those on the bed. But for actual videos, like whipping chats or the whipping crime, that might have to be done that way. Um... Also, I'm going to take this opportunity to ask you guys what might you like to see to the channel. I know that Whipping Crime isn't for everyone. So is there something else you may like as a sideline to the Whipping Crime? Like, I do enjoy the Whipping Crime myself. So I'm not going to not do it. But if there's something that you may like, um, someone said to me before about Whipping, whipping Mythologies. Like different myths and legends. I am happy to do so. I just want to know if anyone else would be interested in that. I mean, I know it's my channel and it's what I'm happy with, but I just want to see if there's any other interest in that. I am trying to branch out on the channel as it as a general, as a general, as in general even. So I'd just like to see what else you may like to see on the channel. I will be getting back to the what's in my stash saga. I think we're on part four. I think that'll be going up next week sometime. Because 
I have two videos planned already for next week. Three if I count my whip on crime. Sometimes guys, I don't want to press down with the the wax pencil because it leaves the wax on the top and that just bugs me. So um yeah. I will be getting back to the what's in my stash, <laughs> which is a lot still. Um, I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it because these ones are the next set for that is mostly Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs, I think, left. So I'm trying to figure out how if I should take them out of the box to show you. Or if I should just uh, show you the box. Well, I, I probably would end up taking them out of the box. I always do. But I don't know. I'm also going to, because I was off from being unwell, I had a chest infection slash throat infection. I'm all back now, as you can tell. Um, I kitted up a few kits, a few, <laughs> while I was away. I wish I'd managed to get to my table to do at least a time lapse for you guys, but I just couldn't leave the bed, so I did them while I was sitting in bed. Um, anything that was doable while I was sitting on the bed was done, really. Um, I also just started a new storage for my AB diamonds and my spares i'm still getting stuff in for the spares but i can show you how it looks so far if you would like to see um what else i don't think of anything else i'm still i'm trying to i would a little bit sorry I am building up on my pen collection. I would show you my current pen collection, but half of my pens are somewhere. I don't know where yet. I will find them and I will show you them if you want to see. And it'll be the same with my trays. Although at the moment I have been using the Disney and Baby Yoda tray the most. Not for any other reason and I just love them. And I like alternating between the two. Um, yeah. So, uh, for those of you that do not know, this kit is from Dreamer Design. It's by Sandra Tub Trubin, 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 and it is a forty by fifty with a lot, and I do mean a lot of colours. And I have two ABs in this kit. I have enjoyed working on it. I do get every now and then a bit of trash. But nothing that I will worry about. Like, it's just normal to get trash. I have decided now that after every section, I'm just going to throw my trash away. Mostly because sometimes I work on other kits at the same time. And then my trash pot gets a bit too full from other kits. And I don't really... Like, showing you the trash pot from then would be a bit unfair. Because I've worked on other kits. Oh. Gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of a. But, um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah. I probably will be trying to get. I've been trying to get back onto my, like, everyday Monday to Friday uploads. If there isn't an upload on a day, that may be because I couldn't think of a video or because. I'm not very well. I am sorry for not having any uploads for while I was unwell. But we are glad that... Well, I am glad to be back. Uh, yeah. So, and guys, I am also now making cover minders. I will show one as an example. This is just the first one. This is one that was just sitting here. We are now making these to sell. So cute, right? It is obviously a magnet there. Oh, sorry about that. Magnet. And there's one there. It's so cute. It's like bubble tea. It's adorable. 
Um, I'm looking forward to other things to create for you guys. Um, yeah, so there's also that to look forward to. I do make uh, sparkle wax. That's what we're calling that now. Sparkle wax. Um, with the lovely help of, um, of Mr. Sparkle every now and then. When he's around, he'll help me make it. When he's not around, it's just me. <laughs> but yeah, so we do have some new things we're trying. I also want to in maybe start a segment for a paint by numbers, maybe a colouring, like just any other ideas. I do want to look into doing latch hook. That looks cool. So if anyone has any ideas, please feel free to drop me in the comments. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. I didn't want to do a long video for you guys today. Just something sweet. Say hello and we're glad we're back. And um, I do hope you all have a lovely day or whatever time it is for you now. And um, I hope to catch you in tomorrow's video, which is an unboxing for you. It is a little different than my normal unboxings. I hope you do enjoy that. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day or whatever it is for you now. Goodbye, everyone.